Hi everyone, welcome to my app smash. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a quick Prezi that I made. Um, this isn't actually one of the programs I'm gonna showcase. I just liked it, so um, thought I'd show it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna do my best not to make this a tutorial, and I have some really cool tech that I like to show uh, to all of you that is useful for me anyway as a teacher, and I think anybody, everybody else could find a use for it. Um, so I'm going to go through Remind, Quizzes, Kahootit, Pear Deck, and Google Tone as an extension. So the first one is Remind. Um, it's awesome for sending messages without using your cell phone number um, for students that you don't really trust or it's just not appropriate. You could also send bulk messages greater than you can in just like a, a, you know, a group message um, you, where you're limited to 10 people sometimes. You can send as many as you want. You can send them to parents. Um, it keeps track of them for you. You can type them from a computer or you can download this as an app um, on your phone. Really cool. I use it for my clubs and my classes. Um, next is quizzes. I just learned about this actually from Natalie in our cohort and I knew about Kahootit. This is like the, the new version of it and it's actually a really big competitor, I can tell. Um, so this is really cool. Um, as I just mentioned, Kahootit, which is like the predecessor of quizzes, it's still awesome. I have a lot of quizzes stored in it, so I'm not going to give up on it. Um, either way, it just it mixes it up with students. Um, Pear Deck, and this is like a, a third tool, which is like my new favorite tool. Like Quizzes and Kahootit, this is also very useful for students to use hands-on, put the, the tech in their hands, um, give them the power to use it, and, and mix up the classroom. It's really disruptive. I like it because it actually gives the students the ability to see the presentations from their phones. Um, respond from their phones or their laptops and also pay attention to what's going on. This is great for large classes, I think, and I'm just learning about it still, so it's limitless in my opinion. So the, the last is extension is Google Tone, um, and it's that blue microphone icon, that extension you'll see on the top right of your Google browser if you add it. Um, it's really cool because it allows you to, if students have Google Chromebooks um, and they have Google Chrome as a browser, you can have them have this extension and then um, it can share you just cl click it and it shares the the URLs with their computers and it's really nice for students who maybe aren't able to see the URL to type it in or just kind of have a hard time with it so it's kind of cool so there's my quick little overview of that let me go ahead and begin with remind so uh, to keep this not being a tutorial I'm just going to showcase how I use it so my interact club is a class that I started when I did that, students um, were given this instruction that I gave them. Um, 81010 is the number that they typed to, not my phone number. And this is the message they send to me to join my group. Once they do this, they're permanently in my group, and it's really cool. So it's like a permanent uh, message group. I'm going to message, hey guys, remember to wear your Interact shirts this, this weekend. Um, for the trash cleanup, make Avalon proud. And so I'll send this, everybody will get it. My phone just vibrated. Um, I can respond to it if I can't make it. It's just really cool. The students have to, their names are all part of it. So it doesn't give me a phone number, it gives me a name. Um, parents can get this, whatever. It's pretty cool and I have them for every class as you can see. The next um, program I like to use is, well, now I like to use it now that I've learned about it. And I, I'm, it's really easy for me. I'm thinking there's a way that I can transfer um, quizzes I've already made. This is um, an example of how to use quizzes. I've called it how to make a quiz. And so I start this game and there's a code that's generated. So I already did this ahead of time. This is when I start the game. The cool thing about this is it just keeps going. I don't have to, I don't have to pause it. I only put one question, but Here's what the student would see. This is what they'd get on their phone. Who is this kid? You can see their time's running out, and as I wait, I'm losing points, and it's my son, Landon. They all know that because he comes on a regular basis. They get a really cool meme to, for J-Bone, that's who I am in this game. And it gives them their ranking. You can disable that if you'd like. Really neat. Um, and here's what I would see as a teacher. I can save the data. I can respond to it. I could actually make it so they don't see the right answer and then have them retry it until they learn to proficiency on anything they're doing. It's kind of cool. So you can share all the results. You can use the social media icons. And this is a step up from Kahootit over here because Kahootit actually is limited on how many, like I have to sit there and click the next button each time or have a student do that. Um, and the feedback is good, but you can tell quizzes paid attention to Kahootit. Um, so here I just, this is a public, and by the way, both of them allow you to have public Kahoots or quizzes, or you can make your own. So here's when I started. 
It's called Summer Trivia. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. As they do it, this tells the students to use um, their tablets. They can share. You can have up to 30 groups with this one. Um, so uh, 30 participants at the same time. Um, so if they're doing that, you actually, some kids don't have a phone. You, you can use a computer lab. And that's why we need to get everybody with the technology, get the parents on board. 3132 is my pen. I'll type it in. 3132, enter. I'm going to put J Money as my nickname. So as I do that, if a student comes up with something that's inappropriate, you just have to click their name right here and they'll exit out and have to redo it. Um, the Wi-Fi needs to be strong and our school's lacking, so I'm hoping we get that fixed. It says, now I'm in. I start now. This one, though, you'll see the student has to pay attention to this on the projector. So the summer solstice is very slightly from each year to year and 2015 occurs almost. So the, sometimes you get public cahoots like this and they're not very good. So this is June 21st. I know the answer. 14 seconds was the one that's only, it's all that's left. I only see this as a student, so I have to click this. I have to pay attention to what's on the screen. That's why quizzes is a step up because they see everything. Anyway, and then I can get the feedback. I'll end it. It tells the students their ranking. I'm in first position and blah, blah, blah. But the cool thing is it gives immediate feedback. The last one that I like to use um, that I just learned about is Pear Deck. This is really neat because it puts the power in the student's tablets itself. Um, but it, you can change up what they'll see versus what you see as a presenter. And I like that. So, for example, as I had this, um, I made a uh, presentation. I actually imported a few from my back to school night and things like that. Um, but as I... I put this, I gener it generated this code and it kind of fun has like a funny name, goes with it, like xenophobic jokes, vex, cranky kids. So I can copy and paste this. I already did that. It says your teacher will begin shortly. So as I come over here and start to click the next part, um, welcome to Mr. Bowker's class. Here's what they'll see as well. It's not really a, a it's a presentation based thing. It's not really like a quiz um, per se, but you can get feedback from them. For example, when I go to my next slide, here's the expectations I'll get or I have of them. Here's what they'll see. Then I click the next button, be original. And so, so this, I wouldn't show them, but this video clip, but, um, you know, being original and celebrating productive struggles in math. This is from Goodwill Hunting. My boy's wicked smart. It's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, it's got a lot of profanity though, but this is what they would see. They'd have to actually take the second to pay attention, um, up there. And it actually asks for their feedback. Um, um, this is the first comment that I, I put in here when I first tried to make this video. I'm going to put another one. Hello, Goodwill Hunting is awesome. But, you know, really you could ask for a specific question. So then they'll answer that. Um, and anyway, so that comes to me and I'll get that when I'm all done. Lastly, um, in the top right here, I don't have anything to watch my mouse, um, like a little... Um, highlight of it. So in the top right corner of the browser of the window, you see this blue microphone or megaphone. This is actually the um, the Google Tone. So if someone else is wanting this URL to access any of these activities, whether it be the Pear Deck, the Kahoot it, or Quizzes, or Remind, or any of those things, all they have to do is click this button. That noise plays, and the other computer should read that. Sometimes if there's a lot of noise in the background, it won't. But this will be cool for a class set of Chromebooks, like I said, and I'm looking forward to using that since my school is adopting some. So there's my app smash. I hope it wasn't too much of a tutorial for you. Try to be a little bit engaging. Um, I'm not very entertaining, but next time I'll make a movie for this and, you know, um, share that with you guys kind of like Google does. All right. Well, thank you for your time and feel free to respond.